Hi, welcome to our math class with teacher Sharmin. All right, so let's get started. Today we'll discuss substitution method. All right. So solve the system using substitution number one step. Solve an equation for one variable. Step number two, substitute. Number three, solve the equation. So how will do this? If you see here, x plus y equal to five, y equal to 3 plus x so the second equation is the already solved for y so you just use here it's an easy way guys just you y you know the value so here is a x equal to 1 using the substitution method solve the system by the substitution method here the situation set found by the substitution method will be the same as the solution found by the graphing. The solution set is the same, only the method is different. So a system is not completely solved until values for both X and Y are found. So elimination method, that is the solve the system by the elimination method to find the corresponding y value and substitute 2 for x in either of the two equation of the system so if you see here 3x minus y equal to 7 2x plus y equal to 3 so here is x equal to 3 you get that and y equal to minus 1 that is the solution set is 3 and that is the x sorry 2 that is the x and y that is the minus 1 solving system by substitu substitution here is a linear equation uh, by substitution so first the equation is solved for y and substitute here is x plus one for y in the second equation so simplify and solve for x and subtract one for both side and divide both sides by five then you will get easily x equal one here so for here you see another problem here take out the y and substitute in 2x minus 7 so get all the variables and one side by adding 4x to both sides so you'll get solve for x by adding 7 to the both side and dividing both sides by uh, by 6. solving a system by substitution here this is the another problem guys and here you see if you practice different type of math it can help you to better understanding that is substitute this value in equation here is a and put this value in equation number two then you will get x equal to six and y equal to minus one so here is the method number one solve one of the equation for either variable number two substitute the expression from step one into the other equation number three solve the resulting equation and substitute the solution in step three into one of the original equations to find the other variable and number five write the solution as an order pair all right so this is the method of substitution so this is guys this is your homework guys all right and thank you so much and see you soon with another new video keep watching keep practicing and good luck your math test thank you so much guys